So we're now going to consider what the static voltages are around the transistor. And when I say static voltages, that means with no signal applied. And when no signal is applied to the amplifier, it's known as the quiet or the quiescent conditions. We're thinking about what voltages we would typically measure on the base, the collector and the emitter when no signal is applied to the amplifier. Well, first of all, we're going to assume that this is a class A amplifier. A class A amplifier means the transistor is turned fully on before the signal is applied. So when the tiny signal comes in, applied to the base, it will turn the transistor on slightly more and off slightly more. That's a class A amplifier. Now the other thing that we can see just by looking at the circuit is this is an NPN bipolar junction transistor and between the base and the emitter the symbol here shows us that there's a, essentially a PN junction diode. And we know for a fact that between the anode and the cathode when the diode is turned on we get a volt drop or a loss of 0.7 of a volt. So we can say for certain if the transistor is turned on and the circuit is functioning correctly, if we were to put a set of meter probes between the base and the emitter of the transistor, the meter would read approximately 0.7 of a volt. As this is an NPN transistor, it requires positive on the base to turn it on, so we can say that the meter would show the base was more positive than the emitter, the base was positive with respect to the emitter. So the red probe of the meter would go on the base and the black probe on the emitter. And we would expect to see 0.7 of a volt there. In actual fact, the voltage probably on the base would be in the region of 1.5 to 2 volts, maybe 2.5 volts, and 0.7 of a volt less on the emitter. In the next video clip, we'll look at what typical collector voltages we would expect to find.